Hey guys, it's Subrome here. Thank you for tuning into this video. This is the best spots for farming for Solstice 2021. I know I'm a little late, but it's better later than never. And if they use this world again, then you can use these little tips and tricks for you to get um, the best consistent crates. So here we're at the spawn right now. We're, uh, we just spawned in. I'm on my Vented. His name is Pizza Rolls. Don't judge him. He's an amazing Vented and he's beautiful. He'll bite you if you mess with him. All right, so we're going to lift off with the Vented. Oh my God, Vented's are really fast. So if you really want to be aggressive with getting your um, crates, you can use the Vented to just drop in front of people if they're on a slow dragon. So as you can see here, so the first thing you need to do to get your crates is you need to be able to get into this gate right here. Now for you to get into this gate, you can farm these right here, which this, you can click the harvest it, and then you do this little mini game here. See, and then it gives you a solar flare. So you need 30 solar flares to get into this gate here. So let's put the 30 solar flares in and let's get in. So it lasts for about um, a full 24 hours or a full day until you have to give it 30 more solar flares. So you'll want to keep grinding. Now for this, um, these tips and tricks are for public servers, private servers. Obviously you're not going to have an issue with getting your crates. But this is for people that, you know, they don't have friends that have private servers or they just simply can't afford to have a private server <laughs> like moi. So, um, as you can see here, these crates equal the Solstice 2021 eggs. So, for your, the best way to secure your crates, um, I'm going to show you three spots where you can secure your crates the best. Now, let's say for instance, you're somebody who likes to go off and watch maybe a show or two or something like that. And you don't really care about getting very many consistent crates, maybe just one here or there. There's a little spot right here. So let's go back to the entrance. So this entrance to the gate here. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go here to where the area where the Volcamos and the charms are at. You're going to go up, straight up here. And then you can just land right here and just click the harvest. This one, you know, it spawns just the same as all of the other ones, but this one you can just kind of AFK at because people don't know about this one. So there's that. The next spot is a pretty common spot. Oh gosh. Okay. I need to calm down. I am in the wall. All right. Well, I guess this is where I've stationed myself at. <laughs> this happened. Pizza rolls. What are you doing? I don't know, ma'am. <laughs> oh boy. All right. So obviously you can be aggressive and just grab the crates here and go through all the loops like everybody else does. But if you go straight from the charms area and you go down into this cave here, and then you go straight past these two orb lanterns, there's a spawn up here that you can camp at an AFK that spawns two crates. And I'll show you it in just a second. So there's one right here. So the best way to do this is to time them, which I'm pretty sure somebody has already timed them for us as long as we can hit all the markers. So we hit all the markers, bam, there's the next one. You can time it actually and put a little delay on your crates. So this is one where maybe you wanna be a little bit more consistent, but you're not like super there. You're a little bit AFK. Um, and you're not like consistently on top of keeping these crates here. So this is another place where you can uh, farm your crates at. Then if you leave from here, let's say you're coming back from the, uh, the lobby area here. So then we can go here. This place is for people who want to farm um, very actively. 
So the best way to do this is you can actually push people off of this area pretty easily um, as long as you just camp it. And you can also use the Venid's butt to cover the box. Then you can also time the uh, boxes as well. So the best thing to do is just wait for one to show up and then go to the next one. So I'll show you kind of how this works. So we're going to do this one. Because you can set up a timer for these. Um, it's just an internal timer. You'll know when they come. You'll get the hang of it as soon as you start grinding it more. Um, what is happening? Alright. So this is the next spot here. Then grab that one. I actually don't recommend flying with the Venid on this one. I'll respawn it in just a second. Let's see how they kind of spawn in a uh, little tandem here. You can continue to do this and people will do this. They'll come here, then they'll leave because they see that, oh, these crates are already gone. They're not going to sit here and wait for them. They're just going to keep going. This person is not keeping going because they're stuck. But don't worry about them. So we'll show you how to do this one. You're not going to get it, buddy. It's my crates. See? They're gone. You can take control of this area really easily if somebody's even at it. All you gotta do is just steal the crates from Adam Room. Ooh, Solstice. Cool. But this is a really easy area to secure if you want constant crates. See? See how that person just left after they saw that there's no crates? Easy spot to farm. Seriously stupid easy. And then there's also a chance that you can get a fourth crate here. And I'll show you that in just a second. So um, the best way to do this is when you set a delay, so it'll, be get, it'll go like this. So this will be your first box and then it will soon spawn your next box here. Whichever box that you have a long, the longest delay on is the one that you're going to want to go fly and get the fourth box for. So I'm going to pretend after I do this one, this box up here, um, that this one has the longest delay for it to spawn. And then I'll show you guys where you can get that fourth box. Because you can just go from up here if you guys want to try to delay your boxes. Um, so what you do is you lift off go straight, bam, this is your fourth box. You can get away with that sometimes if you're not getting aggressively attacked for your boxes on the other side. But um, if you're not careful, people can just go in there and snatch your box. So I would just come here quick, run back, grab this box. So that's another, another aggressive way that you can play this is grabbing that fourth box. So this is a very good and consistent way of getting your boxes. See now that I've gotten this, um, now I can delay this box and reset my pattern so that I can grab that fourth box without having um, to wait to or without having an issue with, um, let's say for instance, like somebody else getting my box because see now they're all spawning because I grabbed that fourth one. My delay was set long enough so that um, I could go grab that and then they started to spawn. If um, you guys don't understand what I mean by setting delays is um, setting delays is like waiting for the timer on the box to um, go a little bit longer out. So let's say, for instance, you have that three sets of boxes over in that cave over there and you want to delay them out a little bit longer so you have more time and you can confuse people by them not spawning. The best way to do it is when you see it spawn, wait on, wait on the box a little bit. Don't, like, don't do anything with it yet. 
you can click on it, but just don't complete it yet. And then when you complete it, then the next one of it already spawned. And then you'll have a longer delay if you continue to wait on it. Obviously, it can only go for so long, but then you can have a nice gap if you want to like feed your dragon, go collect that fourth box, and then also if you need to go do anything else like really quick. But this is the most aggressive one that you can do. So yeah, that's everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and then in this last clip, I'm going to show you guys something else. Are you having a hard time getting a solar this event? Well, fear not, because I have been given a solar by the developers to give to you. All you guys have to do is go to the Google Sheet that's going to be pinned on this video, enter in your Roblox username, and as soon as you enter in that, bam, you are entered. Make sure that your username is spelt correctly so I know who to give it to. I'll be showing on my Discord or TikTok a spinner of who gets to have this uh, solar. But thank you guys so much for watching. You guys make my channel what it is and I wouldn't be able to do any of this stuff without you. And um, make sure you guys like, follow, and subscribe. Make sure to check out my TikTok. I'm also having another solar giveaway on there. And I'll see you guys in the next video.